final score, Manchester United 2, Crystal Palace 0. We were Chris. Chris, even though like today was pretty much dead rubber, can we take any positives from the game? I mean, take a lot of positives for it. I and mean, it's not a dead rubber to the young players that play today. I mean, it's a game that meant a lot to them. And I thought all our youngsters who played today played well. I thought Mitchell on the left-hand side, left-back was great. I thought Harrop took his goal brilliantly. Yeah, Harrop's goal was sick, what, it wasn't it? it was. What a great goal that is. But he's been doing that in the reserves for a while, so... You know, why, why why not give him a, a chance today? And he, he took it. I thought Pereira was good in goal. You know, there's so many positives. Uh, but uh, And it's mainly from the youngsters, to be fair. Um, you know, I, I don't know if any of them have played themselves into the Europa League squad for midweek. But, you know, they, they've with done a, a... With a goal like that, you know, in Harrow. <laughs> no, uh, so a lot of positives to take from today. Yeah. <laughs> give us a prediction for uh, Wednesday. See, see, everyone's happy. That's what. <laughs> see, everyone's happy. That's what the youngsters have done today. So that's great. Uh, it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Give us a prediction for the, the Europa League final. Oof, well, it's um, it's a difficult one. It's going to be a completely different team than, than the one that played today, of course. And uh, you know, uh, I think it's going to be. A I, I, I can't do a prediction on it. Uh, to be honest, I think it's going to be a tight one. Um, We've kind of we kind of scraped through in Europa League this season, so I kind of think we're going to scrape through again. I was going to say a one nil. I was going to say a one nil. One nil win to us, hopefully. The final against Southampton, we didn't we play overly great against those, but Zlatan had a had a really good game, and you know, but overall we weren't great. But you know, considering the amount of games that we played this season, and you know, historically teams playing in the Europa League not doing so well, you know, in the last stages, and you know. Also, uh, d doing badly in the league as well. But you know, we've seemed to have kind of found a, a happy medium between the two. Oh, we have until until recent weeks. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean basically, let, let's face it. In the last few weeks, Josie's basically sacked the league off and put wild well, eggs in the Europa League basket, which which kind of puts more pressure on the Europa League final. Uh, but uh, hey, I mean, it's um, our. <laughs> <laughs> follow, follow, follow. follow. I don't have a part of what he's had. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, yeah, it's going to be a tricky game, but, you know, fingers crossed we win it and uh, we're getting the Champions League. Right. <laughs> See you in Stockholm! Hey. Hey. <laughs> are, you, are you off to Stockholm, mate? It's not looking likely at the minute. Oh, Got in. Done. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, no, I hope... I hope we do. I hope we do well. Uh, it's our route into the Champions League. It's a trophy we haven't won, so fingers crossed we can win it. And uh, as long as we give it our all, that's the main thing.